Hello, welcome back. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the difference between have I and did I. Of course, I'm using I, but this could be any pronoun. It could be she, it could be he, it could be we, it could be they, it could be you. It doesn't matter. The point here is to try and help you understand the difference, if there is a difference at all, between using have I and did I. So let's get started. First of all, I'd like to talk to you about the situations that saying have I or saying did I will practically be the same thing. And why do I want to start by saying that to you? Because in my opinion, as a teacher and a learner of another language, I feel that when we have all of these rules, all of these explanations, it makes us so confused and it stops us from relaxing and thus being able to use those things in our daily conversations naturally. So I prefer to just show things to you in a way that makes it accessible to you, that makes it easy. So if I'm explaining something that means these two things are the same, you're going to be able to relax and just speak. And as you progress, as you do that, slowly you're going to polish your structures and you're going to learn more details about English grammar. So, if I say to you, have you seen George this morning? Have you seen George this morning? Or, did you see George this morning? Did you see George this morning? They're the same. Okay. Oh, Patricia, I don't think they're the same because you said this morning and I learned from my book that it may... Stop right there. The reason why you're not able to use structures like have you, have I, have we is precisely because you're thinking about the explanations from your book. Is that a problem? Is grammar a problem? No, it is not a problem, but it becomes something that stops you from developing your speaking if that is your main focus. All right, you want to get into grammar, don't you? I know you do. I know, I know you guys. Okay, so when are they different? Let me give you an example. If I say to you, have you seen George since you arrived? In this case, it would be maybe more natural to say, have you seen George? Because I said, since you arrived, which is about a specific time. On the other hand, on the other hand, saying something else, if I said, did you see George this morning? It sounds more natural to say, did you see George this morning? Because I'm saying this morning. And so it's a very specific time. So generally speaking, if you want to talk about rules, when you're talking about super specific times, we tend to use did as opposed to have. I don't want you to be stuck in that rule. I don't want you to become dependent on the rule. I don't want you to think that you need that rule to speak because you don't, in fact. This is just some, you know, some sort of guideline to help you. It did not help me, however. As a learner, I just felt that it was so much better to learn through listening to people around me and just slowly getting the hang of things. Things might be different with you and you might need the rule. So be it. This is an expression. It means, all right, then go for it. So be it. So you would say, for example, I received the email last night. I received the email last night because I said last night, which is very specific. On the other hand, you would say, I haven't received the email yet. Because yet is just, you know, a time you're referring to, to a time, meaning did not happen until now, but it's not super specific as saying last night. Maybe I would say to you, I sent you a parcel, a parcel is like a box through the post. I sent you a parcel two weeks ago. Have you received it? I would probably say, have you received it? Now, would it be wrong to say, did you receive it? No, it wouldn't. But because I'm talking about this more like open kind of time, like two weeks ago, I'm not giving you the date, I'm not being super specific, then people would generally choose to say have. This rule sucks. Can I just be honest with you now? I really, I really don't like you guys relying on these rules. I really don't think it helps you. I really don't think it's beneficial to you. I really think you should just relax and listen. But yeah, 
And you're going to notice as well that there are situations, like little dialogues, that both are mixed. So people are using both. So for example, it would say, have you received my email? Have you received my email? And you would say, yeah, I received it last night. I received it last night. So you see, there are two, two things going on here because the feeling the person asking the question has tends to be different to the feeling the person answering the question has. And this is not something that you learn from grammar. This is something that you learn from being immersed, whether you are in the country, lucky you, or not in that country. Immersion can happen one way or another. Like if you're talking to your friend and your friend tells you, oh, I got the job. You could say, have you? That's brilliant, well done. Or you could say, did you? Both are absolutely fine. So chill, chill. This is the main message from this video, relax. I decided to do this video because you guys have asked me on Instagram to do it, okay? It's not the type of video that I, that I particularly enjoy doing because I just feel that it's not extremely useful because language is not something that you can just explain in very simple and straightforward, straightforward, like, you know, this is it, like straight to the point, objective. You cannot really explain language in a straightforward way when it comes to, to a second language, to a foreign language, because there are so many other things that have to be considered when you're talking about that. So this is not my favorite type of video, but you asked, I thought I would at least try to help you, even if it means making you feel a little bit more relaxed and at ease when it comes to using those two structures. You're going to use both in your speaking. You can use both in your speaking. Just relax and start using it. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Bye.